This is a kiddo who didn't finish, but this is fine. I see the shapes. It's great. Oh, beautiful. This one, this little guy for whatever reason didn't finish, but these are great. Look at how they colored the clothes in. They even got a little crab. I got waves. I see. So you're always saying, what do I see? Oh, I see wavy lines. I see curly lines. It's great. And then here's a typical one. They started coloring the water blue with oil pastel. And then somebody obviously caught them and said, no, <laughs> we're painting that part. And they painted their sky and their water the same color. All fine. Okay, so think about where your penguin is looking before you go down. Is that I see what you mean about you have to press hard with the... Yes, yeah. So look at those great things that you learned. And just remember, like if you just, if a kiddo just goes right across, these little white squares will end up being green or brown, whatever color you do your mountains. Oh my gosh, look at this little uh, lovely painter going on over here. <laughs> And you probably have to remind them to keep their brush wet. Yes, yes. Well, sometimes they actually get too much water. Oh, okay. So, so the texture it has a need to know basis there. Oh, it doesn't show up all that well if I use blue and blue. This is kind of nice. Somebody who started this in a pastel box, these are all the ones that, like, the leftovers that get left behind. And so they just throw them in here. Like all the boxes are closed off, like opening the box. Okay. Let's try that. Easy, easy. So, Jimmy, I just see you doing something. Like that. What's that? So, you were kind of scrubbing with a scrub brush. Mm -hmm. And so I just put my hand on top of yours, like, no scrubbing. We go like this, okay? Because oh, okay. it's really okay. hard on the brush when we do that. Okay. So, you were a perfect five holder. hard enough. Yeah. It goes right through them. Um, when you clean up the paint, your son's is a fabulous example. Uh -huh. uh, you're going to end up with other colors. Like if your yellow is not going to be yellow. Right. I take a wet paper towel or wipe and I just do a little cleanup job like that. Okay. Just try it. You just, you know, so in the next class, yeah. the yellow is the one that really gets really bad. Okay. Um, if they're very, very wet, mm -hmm. um, you can put a paper towel in and just kind of blot all of them to get up some of that extra water. Some of them will be really soupy. Or if there's a space while you're cleaning up, just leave them open like this to dry for a few minutes. I just stack them up like, you know, Jenga style. Hey, Renner. Renner. that I would demonstrate yes. the painting. Yes. Okay. I think I'm going to fill out that paper that, you know, we turn into the teacher mm -hmm. and give her the choice. Like one or two? Yeah, because I'm thinking we would need at least a good solid hour if we're doing it oh, all. At least an hour for this lesson, right? Probably a little bit more than that. So maybe what I'll tell her is we can either crank it out. There's so much more instruction in this one than usual. Yeah. Be a lot of one, two, three, look at me, huh? Yeah. Or my, uh, nobody's listening to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a way to do it. I'll be listening. <laughs> 